If America is going to dominate the world in manufacturing once again, as it did when I was running things, you remember when they used to say, you can't have manufacturing jobs in our country anymore? I said, really, why? And we created hundreds of thousands of them. But we must be the most affordable energy and electricity place anywhere on the planet. We have to have affordable energy. Right now, we have energy that's weak, substandard, and unaffordable. It's made by the wind. The windmills rust. They rot. They kill the birds. It's the most expensive energy there is. And we have other things that are also no good. It's called the Green New Deal. I call it the Green New Hoax. One of the reasons manufacturing jobs were flooding back into the United States when I was President was that we dramatically reduced energy costs. Sadly, crooked Joe Biden sacrificed this tremendous economic advantage on the altar of the Green New Deal, perhaps because he was bribed by Communist China or because Communist China knows all of the money that they paid him. We have a Manchurian candidate. That's what he is. He's a Manchurian candidate. They know everything about him. And he's scared stiff. He won't do a thing. I took in hundreds of billions of dollars from China, and Joe Biden's afraid to even talk to him. Biden's war on American energy has sent prices soaring, and his latest actions will make it catastrophically worse. It's going to be bad at a level that we've never seen. This will be so bad. Under Biden's newly proposed power plant regulations, most natural gas and coal plants will be forced to shut down. By the way, they tried that in Germany, and now they're going back and building coal plants all over the place because they've destroyed Germany. They have no energy. So Germany now is building a coal plant every two weeks. And China is building a coal plant every week, every single week. They're putting up a new coal plant. And we're playing games with the wind. This is terrible, what's happening to our country. There is nothing to replace our energy at this time, not even close. It's very expensive, and it's very weak. It doesn't have the power to power up those big plants that you see. At the same time as Biden is shutting down existing power plants, he also wants to force hundreds of millions of Americans into ultra-expensive electric vehicles. It costs twice as much as what you have, and what you have is better, and it goes a lot longer. And it's a lot easier to fill up. And we have liquid gold under our feet at a level that no other country has. But they'll strain the grid to the breaking point. It already is at a breaking point. If you look at California, it's got brownouts and blackouts every single day. People can't turn on their air conditioners. And it'll drive electricity prices into the stratosphere. If Biden's policies go forward, our electricity costs will be the highest on Earth. They're already very close, with shortages, blackouts, and crippling inflation. U.S. manufacturing will be dead, absolutely dead, and China will be laughing all the way to the bank. They will end up controlling the world. My plan is the exact opposite. As President, I will set a national goal of ensuring that America has the number one lowest cost of energy of any industrial country anywhere on Earth. I want to be number one. We were energy independent just three years ago, and now we're begging Venezuela for their oil. And yet, we have many times more than any other country. There's no country — Saudi Arabia, Russia, nobody — no country has what we have. We will develop the liquid gold that is right under our feet, including American oil and natural gas. And we will also embrace nuclear, clean coal, hydropower, which is fantastic, and every other form of affordable energy to get it done. We will not only match China, we will be cheaper than China by a lot. And more energy will mean lower inflation. It'll mean more jobs. I will cancel Biden's ruinous power plant rule, terminate his electric vehicle mandate. If you want to buy an electric car, that's fine, but you're going to be able to buy every other form of car also. And unleash domestic energy production like never before. But just think of it. Energy independence three years ago. Energy dominance was going to follow very shortly. We're going to pay off our debt. We're going to lower taxes for everybody. And they ended that, immediately ended it. First day, they ended it. I will fully modernize the electric grid to prepare it for the next 100 years, implement rapid approvals for energy projects, and greenlight the construction of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of brand-new, beautiful power plants that actually work. This will pave the way for an enormous growth in American wealth. In the future, every manufacturing plant, every data center, every semiconductor facility and assembly line will want to be built in America. They're all going to want to be in America. So we're going to have the lowest cost of energy. It's a big factor. 
This will be the place where the cost of energy is lower than any place else on Earth, where the economy is stronger than any place else on Earth, and where the workers are the best, brightest, and most talented anywhere in the world. I want to thank you very much. We cannot let this man, who is diminished mentally and physically, but much worse mentally, we cannot let him tell us what to do with our country. He has no clue. He can't put two sentences together. We have to make America great again, and we can't do it with a man who is severely diminished. Thank you very much.